Admiral Capital came about is because we wanted to invest money back in the communities that are investing in us. My life's passion has been education. I started the Carver Academy 14 years ago in San Antonio, and our goal was to take uh, kids who maybe didn't have other opportunities, get them uh, accelerated in school by the time they're in sixth grade, get them doing 10th, 11th grade work instead of being two grades behind, and get make sure that everyone gets into college. We found a great uh, charter management organization, Idea Public Schools, uh, to partner up with, and now we're growing in San Antonio. We have 3,500 students and 2,500 kids on the waiting list, and soon we'll have over 10,000 students in San Antonio, and we send every single child to college. So, ambitious undertaking, tremendous impact, and that's what I wanted to continue. Uh, I've spent the last 25 years working on that part, uh, and now through our investments, we can even expand our work uh, in, in, with Admiral Capital. Uh, so, so Admiral Hospitality Scholars is really just a growth out of the work that I've been doing for the last 20 years. I came from typical Wall Street background and in New York City, and I left that world because I was working with David on his community efforts and he inspired me and I wanted to do something different with my own life and I knew he had the ability to make a huge impact and for us to be able to combine my interest in investing and his interest in community impact into one business it would be a much more sustainable effort because it's we had been working just on a school but if we own hotels and own sporting goods companies and own technology companies and with David's mission, bringing kids in, then we're in a position of influence. We're not just trying to help kids and asking companies to help them, we're owning the companies. And then we can have a much bigger impact because then we can open up the doors. But when we bought a Hilton Garden Inn here in Houston, we brought in Hilton Hotels, American Liberty Hospitality, Houston Independent School District, and the Hilton College. And we all got into a room and talked about what is everyone doing to increase diversity and create opportunities and how can we all work together. And Sharing with these young people the contacts that we have, showing them um, not only is this a very, very exciting, challenging, uh, unpredictable, uh, and fill in the blank industry, um, but at all levels to really, really show them. And you know, and I always say kind of like access to my Rolodex, right? You know, you tell a young person about Rolodex, they go, I don't know what that is. But you know, access to our contacts, you know, and there's other things that, you know, that Dave has shown, you know, like unconditional love and, you know, loving people, young people without expecting anything in return. And for him to actually take his time out to actually create a program where we can have the experience of touring a hotel and learning about different things of a hotel, it's great because then we can actually consider what we want to do or what we might, yeah, like what we want to do in a hotel. More of anything, it's been a bit eye-opening. I didn't know that this type of career path could be, um, say, as big as it is and as beneficial as it is. It's not something I would just consider, it's something I'd recommend other people to consider. So I think it's a great opportunity for the travel and tourism industry, business, and also for the development of the student because the student, I see them when they first start my class and they're a little bit insecure the moment they walk into the hotel and they're looking around and then six weeks later when they're competent. It impacts their lives in ways that I think we may not even know for maybe 10 or 15 years. I get stories today from students who've gone to work for the Emirates Airlines and they're living in Hong Kong. And I'm like, wow, because the one thing I try to emphasize, if you can do the job in Houston, you can do it anywhere in the world. I think what inspires Dave to continue doing this is that to see these young people one day owners of five hotels or to be a CFO or to be a CEO of their own company. And that is the, that is the magic of this business. The natural progression of someone who played basketball at the highest level and used his basketball career to help people. And the NBA gives an award away every month that's called the David Robinson plaque to inspire the next generation of athletes. It's, 
it's the same way we run our business. The better we are as a business, the more we can help. So that is, you know, that's at the forefront of everything we do. You know, we all have resources. We all have something. We have time. We have, um, you know, possessions, or we we have job opportunities, or something. Uh, and and we can mentor. We can encourage. We can. <laughs> coddle we can do whatever we need to do to get uh, get kids excited and get them moving forward we have to set the pattern and show them what we want them to be and, but you know lead by example and uh, and so kids are excited they want to see that they don't just want to hear you talking about something they want to see you giving and serving and loving and doing those things and then that's what we'll produce in the future we're we're propelling them we're 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 putting the hope and the vision into their hearts and now, you know, when they when they leave here, they're going to be searching for something.